All right, I'm ready to interview Steven Cinnamon. <laughs> Steven Cinnamon. Brought to you by? Steven Zimmerman. His, hard, his name is hard. <laughs> People call you Stefan. I know. Unfortunately. That annoy you? Not really. Is that one of the questions? No, but I just, <laughs> yeah. I just, I just think that. I mean, I, I wouldn't, it doesn't annoy me, but of course I'd prefer them to get it correct. Okay. All right, let's go. Can I start or do I have to say that again? Okay. No, I like to say that. Oh, you're going to use that as a blooper? <laughs> I'm definitely going to use it. Oh, <laughs> that's blooper. crazy. I'm just using it. All right. What, an, what is an Australian snack that you've, you've discovered and you love? Ah, that's tough. Because I'm chubby and I will try to stay away from snacks. Mm -hmm. But uh, you guys kind of put me on Tim Tams. And I actually just put my wife on Tim Tams and she won't stop buying them now. So, yeah, okay. those. Nice, nice. Which flavor though? The caramel ones. Caramel? Okay. Yeah, I knew you were going to ask that too. Okay. No, no, that's, that's a good one. That's a good, good choice. Okay. Uh, describe yourself with three words. Um... I say goofy. Um, tall. And handsome. Tough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which player did you grow up idolizing? Um, it's weird because I didn't necessarily grow up watching a lot of basketball, but I had three older sisters that were in the sports and stuff, and one of them uh, really loved Dirk, and I think that's kind of where I get some swag from in my game. I can, I can see that, you know. I feel like they would have definitely compared you to, to a young dirt back in the day when you were younger. Right. <laughs> I should, you should have seen him back in the day, man. That's serious. <laughs> yeah, I'm but, I'm but, was, but now. No, no, he's not but still, but he, 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 he played different. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, okay. he sure. Whatever he wanted, he didn't care. They were, talking, they were talking to Bull about that today. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. What has been the best game you've played in? The best game I've played in, like? What does that mean? Like the coolest game I played in, or like my best game personally, or like the cool game? Let's say the coolest game you ever played. Yeah, in I was gonna say in. Uh, I mean, in high say? school, I played in the McDonald's All American game. I thought that was cool, but I feel like overall, I played in the Elite Twenty Four, and it was in Brooklyn. And it was like right under the Brooklyn Bridge, like outside, with like all a bunch of guys that are playing in the NBA now and stuff. So yeah. I feel like that. That's probably one of my most memorable games, for Tough. sure. And uh, who did you have in that? Like who was who was yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. Who were the players uh, Miles Turner was a good friend of mine. Stanley Johnson was there. Uh, Amanda Moutier. There was like a picture that like I'm pretty sure like it was like everybody that was there has yeah. played in the NBA. So it was like there was a bunch of guys. Oh, cool. Stanley Johnson. A Z along. <laughs> Kanye <Cognier> top. <laughs> All right. Uh, the greatest basketball game in history and why? Ah, uh, that's tough. You can say the game. Uh, where LeBron and Kyrie had 40 each. That game was pretty wild. Okay. There's a lot, man. Wilt's 100 points, even though that's kind of suspect because it wasn't on camera. And he shot an unbelievable percentage from the free throw line. <laughs> that made no damn sense. Even though he doesn't shoot well from the free throw line. <laughs> but we can say that. Next question, you're getting me hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put a Ray Allen game with Miami and LeBron. Yeah. You get that buzzer beater. That was nice. I loved how that was amazing everybody game. was leaving and they thought the game was over. Yep. And then they were trying to get back in and they wouldn't let anybody in. Back to the arena, but no re-entry. Shut out. It's probably one of my favorite parts. <laughs> that's that's got to be up there, right? Yeah. Right. What talent other than basketball do you wish you had? Do I wish I had? I wish I could play the piano. I just feel like that's just a sexy instrument. You just I feel the same. You know, and yes. walk around the airport or something. Yeah. Just like find a, I don't know. I feel like that'd be so cool. If you got that in your bag, it's over with. It's over. Like what? Like the world's your oyster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just straight pianos. Straight. All, all around. <laughs> uh, that's it. Your favorite basketball memory. Favorite basketball memory. That's tough. And the easy answer would be getting drafted. But I was honestly really mad on draft night. <laughs> uh, just feeling like I should have went higher. But um, obviously that's a great time that I'll always remember. Um, could have been winning our fourth straight championship in high school, state championship in high school. Could be that. Okay, that's tough. 
Um, could have been some of the games we had in college. I don't know. I've had a lot. And I hope to keep making more. Sure. And the last question. Your favorite top dance teammate? That's tough. I feel like I hate all you guys equally. Thanks. Um, I don't know, man. Probably Kane. <laughs> okay, tell it. Fair enough. Uh, Kane's a good guy, bro. He's a good awesome. guy. Yeah, I don't want to step on any toes, man. Any, any questions that we didn't ask Kepi that we need to ask him? Now that he's putting on the spot. Yeah. Now that he's putting on the spot. <laughs> who's, your, who's your favorite seven foot white American center that you played with in the last three months? See, the crazy thing about that is that he didn't say me. <laughs> <laughs> His hey. question was more specific. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. Wow. Like, That's crazy. Come on. <laughs> I actually disrespect <laughs>